Let's have a closer look then at some of the braking styles. So let's come into this corner, brake pretty hard, the front drops down and in we go into the corner. That's a conventional braking shape. That's pretty much what I used to do when I was driving. And it's similar to a few of the other drivers on the grid. I would have said in the past that I used to quite enjoy hitting brakes quite late, as late as I physically could, and then head into the corner, having done the maximum braking capacity that I possibly could have done. And that was a kind of similar trait to what I, what I saw from Kevin Magnussen as well. We had similar mentality. You come into the corner, you hit the brakes as late as you can, and with as much force as you can, you keep the pressure on, and you want to be on the edge of locking up at any given moment. But when you get to the crucial part, which here, as we head down towards this, this chicane, is the turning point, this is the part where you want to have the right amount of speed. So if you're going too quick at this stage, you're going to have a, a problem with oversteer or understeer. You're going to make a mistake at the very least, or worse, you're going to end up in the barriers. So you've got to get the speed under control at this point. And my style would have been to break as late as I could to get to this part with the speed that I wanted. And that's, that's the fundamental skill that, that I was trying to apply. That was my driving style. But it's what I saw from Magnussen. It's not what I saw from Nico Hülkenberg, who was much softer on the brakes. Rather than having the style that I would have had or Magnussen has, where he's right on the limit of the brakes, the car's is, uh, is nose down, and it's a bit, a bit reactive, the tires are on the limit, everything's a bit harsh, it would be a little bit flatter and it would be a little bit safer. So Hülkenberg can actually roll a good amount of speed into the corner. And this is when it comes down to feel and pitch. In modern day cars, it's actually less of a, a factor than it used to be in the past because of ground effects. The cars are run really, really stiff. The rear of the car is now right on the ground. So the pitch and the squat are not as huge a factor as they used to be. But what I saw from other drivers, and Hülkenberg is an example, is a driver that actually wasn't particularly hard on the brakes. He'd lean into it a little bit more. Still hard in any sense. Formula One braking, you've got to brake hard, but it's all comparable. And it would be softer. But that would mean the pitch of the car wouldn't be quite so dramatic. So the front wouldn't drop down as much and you'd have a more stable platform entering the corners. That's a crucial part to the braking phase. And that's why I think it's the, the most important part to any Formula One driver's skill. It sets up every corner and the corners are where the skill is. So lifting coast is another technique you often hear in race trim for the, uh, the drivers over the team radio, the engineer advising lifting coast to try and save fuel maybe the tires as well at the same point. So what we're gonna do is literally lift and then coast and then brake. So instead of just going full throttle to the braking point, hammering the brakes, let's see how this one works. So we come in, what we're gonna do now is lift off and then hit the brakes slightly later than we otherwise would and still get into the corner. So it actually looks to the outside pretty much the same. The lines are the same, still managed to decelerate at a similar rate to before. But crucially, I lifted off the throttle about 50 to 100 meters earlier than the corner, which means I'm saving fuel, I'm not accelerating through that phase. And also, I then have to brake a little bit later to make up for that because I'm arriving at a slower speed. So it's a difficult skill to try and get right. On this time, I managed to come in, lift off at this point. So on the previous lap, I'd have been accelerating all the way, building up the speed and then having to hit the brakes around now to decelerate the car for the corner. There's a lot of force going in, about your 120 bar, 100 kilos of brake pressure. When you lift off, my speed actually with the lifting coast is already dropping here because I'm no longer accelerating. I've got nothing going on. I'm just keeping the car in a straight line. It means I can brake a little bit later because my arrival speed is less. So now I hit the brakes here, slow the car down. And by the time you get to this point, it actually looks kind of the same because the lines then match up. I'm now back on the same deceleration curve as I was before. Get the car stopped, get the car turned in and you only lose a tiny little bit of lap time doing that. 